Hello Martin, thanks for inviting us to your workshop. Uh, I was wondering, could you tell us the story of how you became a puppet maker? Uh, it was an accident, actually. I was started uh, years ago in the last century. I was studying music and then I did nothing for a couple of years. It was 90s. You know. And uh, then I used to visit my brother who lived in uh, the countryside and he was, he was making marionettes actually. So I, I tried and it worked out. So yeah, and since then I do it. It's a main living. Okay. And uh, what was your first puppet that you made? I started with masks actually because it was easier like uh, for handcraft. And then I, my first marionette was Devil and he actually looked like my grandfather, which was funny. My grandfather was pastor. But, uh, so, yeah, so the first one was Devil, I believe. And I wish I could uh, see it again. I don't know where it, where it is now because it was so. Uh, I would like to see it again because. And it sounds interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Can you describe your process of making puppets? For example, do you start with a sketch? No, not really. Sometimes, but it's very seldom. I usually start it, I just prepare the wood on, on saw and then I start carving. And later, with the process of carving, I find uh, or I decide what character it will be. You know, so, and it, it's also part of the freedom that I can like, uh, start and then see. What is it? Okay. Um, your workshop's very unique space. Um, as a traditional craftsman, how does your daily routine compare to modern working life? <clears throat> it's a good question. Uh, how does it compare to modern life? Uh, well, this is kind of like old-fashioned style or old-fashioned lifestyle. Yeah. I work with hands and I'm not very good in this new technologies, you know, so I can't really compare it, but uh, it's old style, old, good old times. Yeah. I don't know what, what, what means uh, a rich person going to work. I come to work daily mm -hmm. also, but uh, uh, I basically do what I want, which is great. And I, I have to be thankful for that, mm -hmm. you know, and I am. Good. And some people work in uh, offices, some people don't like working inside and uh, they don't like having a restricted space, they like to work outside. Do you prefer working in a workshop environment, do you think, compared to uh, a standard business or office? I probably do, because yeah. I do it. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, I was lucky, I was really lucky that uh, I also find, found this uh, space which is great, and uh, it's mine. I mean, it's not mine, but uh, I rent it, so it's mine. And uh, I, again, I mean, I, all I can say is that it's freedom, you know. And uh, even the fact that <clears throat> I like to be here, I uh, I'm pretty happy for that. You know? I, and you specialize in characters from the afterlife. What are the influences? Are there any? <laughs> Music, film? Mm, no, I, well, I always like like Mexican culture and all that kind of like, uh, mm, so it's big ins inspiration for me. And uh, that you, put, you take skeleton and you put him in, in a role of, I don't know, can be cowboy or can be joker or can be whatever. And uh, I mean, it, there is humor in it, you know, they, they don't take it so like seriously that this person is dead, so we should just like uh, adore him. You know, the, it's more respect, isn't it? Yeah. I think and, there's a lot more respect in that. And uh, well, it, it doesn't come from my personal experience. Next okay. kind of <laughs> Children uh, respond to puppet theatre nowadays. Uh, now we've got Pixar and Disney and everything. Do you think that uh, well, their imaginations? Uh, I think it's it's. Uh, I'm not expert on it, but uh, usually during our shows they cry. 
you know. And uh, we say that it's the best, uh, that it's it's best, uh, like uh, music, you know, like uh, scen scenic music or how it yeah. like that. That is children's cry, but uh, I think it's uh, you can even see like uh, on our show on the last show that uh, these children they saw a lot of like thrillers in on I mean on TV or or they saw a lot of movies with a lot of blood and when they watch this show so you can really see that it's different I mean they are really scared because it's somehow it's more real you know that it's it's not screen okay know? so you're saying in a way that movies have desensitized kids or videos and things they're completely desensitized but maybe a bit theater maybe, maybe. makes it more raw and real and believable in somehow they are more in, more involved in it you know yeah. like uh, that's but, uh, quite interesting and you said you're a musician and uh, obviously um aware that you're in a couple of bands um, do you think your musical skills, because you're a guitarist, uh, does that influence your puppet making or puppetry in any way? I don't think so. I, I, I think that I am inspired from very, very similar, uh, or my inspiration comes even in music or making the marionettes. Uh, it comes from similar roots, which can be like something that is raw, kind of barbarian. Not very smooth, not you know that that uh, and I don't know if it works in my mind and somebody else has to say it, but uh, I like the energy, you know that it's uh, there must be energy and and humor, let's say in both, and it shouldn't be uh, taken too seriously, you know it's like uh, it's fun.